Yo, what is up guys? Blue Collar here, aka Delboy. Hope you guys are doing well. A quick preview and prediction for Jeff Horn versus Michael Zarafa. This fight goes down this weekend on the 31st of August and it takes place down under in good old Australia. This fight is actually at middleweight and it is for a minor WBA trinket. I've got to say, I actually believe this is a half interesting fight. Stylistically, at very least, it should be fun to watch. And yeah, it's one I'm looking out for. Let's quickly go through the tale of the tape of both fighters. We will start with the favourite, Jeff Horn. He has a record of 19 wins, 1 defeat, 1 draw, 13 of those 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Michael Zarafa has a record of 26 wins, 3 defeats, 0 draws, 15 of those 26 wins coming by way of knockout. In terms of the height and reach of both guys, Jeff Horn is listed as 5'9", with a 68 inch reach, whereas Michael Zarafa is listed as 5'11", with a 71 and a half inch reach. So, Zarafa is 2 inches taller, and also he has a three and a half inch reach advantage. So Michael Zarafa is the taller, longer guy. And not only that, Michael Zarafa is just the bigger, heavier guy in general. Michael Zarafa, throughout his career, has been campaigning at super welterweight and even middleweight in certain fights. You know, Jeff Horn, for the most part, has been a career welterweight. So naturally, Michael Zarafa is the bigger guy. And that could be a factor on fight night, given the styles of both fighters. Now, Michael Zarafa has had more fights, but you would argue, you know, um, Jeff Horn is the more experienced guy. He's fought a higher level of competition. He's fought the likes of Terence Crawford and ring legend Manny Pacquiao. Jeff Horn has certainly fought the better opposition, but Michael Zarafa himself is battle-tested. He's fought Kell Brook and made the distance. He actually put up a really respectable effort in that fight. And back in the day, Michael Zarafa also fought Peter Quillen. Now, Zarafa got knocked out in that fight, but he was giving Quillen some problems until that happened. So, so listen, Michael Zarafa, is he a world beater? No. Is he world class? No. But he's a good solid guy who's durable and he'll come for a tear up. And, you know, on some nights, he can give some decent guys problems. That's the type of fighter... I kind of see Michael Zarafa as. And yeah, he should make for an entertaining fight. Now, how do I feel how this fight will play out? First and foremost, stylistically, it should be a good fight. Both guys, for me, are front foot fighters. Both guys are aggressive. Both guys like to get up in your grill. I think Michael Zarafa's work up close is a bit cleaner. It's a bit crisper in comparison to Jeff Horn's work. But for me, Jeff Horn brings far greater volume, far greater pressure, and he's got a knack of really smothering his opponents and then getting his own work off. Sometimes he's dirty, sometimes he will lean in with the head, sometimes he'll use elbows, shoulders, but he seems to get away with it, and it's effective in certain fights. And I certainly believe against a guy like Michael Zarafa, you know, he will have success with that style. The only problem is, is the size of Michael Zarafa. As we know, Jeff Horn, for the majority of his career, has been a welterweight. You know, fighting guys like Manny Pacquiao, Terence Crawford, Gary Kukorin, Ali Funeko, you know, guys like this. He's been fighting welterweights. Michael Zarafa, despite him being basic, is not a welterweight. He is a super welterweight slash middleweight. He's a big dude, and he's bigger than Jeff Horn. Will that style be as effective against a big guy like Michael Zarafa, despite Zarafa being quite limited. That'll be interesting to see. Maybe Jeff Horn doesn't get away with the roughhouse tactics in this fight. Maybe Zarafa is strong enough and big enough to offset that. That could be a possibility going into this fight. That's something to look out for. Another thing in this fight I wouldn't be surprised to see is if we see Jeff Horn box a bit more on the outside, use that jab, and move a bit more. In some of Jeff Horn's earlier fights, he did box more behind that jab, and Jeff Horn was a good amateur. If we see a scenario where Zarafa is having success up close, 
and Horn's usual style isn't as effective, I really wouldn't be surprised if you see Jeff Horn use that jab more and just box more from range. You know, sensible basic stuff from range. I really wouldn't be surprised to see that. And if Horn does box that way, I could see him actually outboxing Michael Zarafa from range. For me, Michael Zarafa from range isn't really that effective. We saw that in the Kell Brook fight. When Kell Brook had that fight at range, Zarafa was quite ineffective. It's when Zarafa got to mid-range, and especially on the inside, that's when he was more effective in that fight. So, yeah, if, if Jeff Horn decides to box and keep it at range and use his feet, I actually expect him to have a lot of success in this fight, and, you know, I believe he would actually outbox Michael Zarafa, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see that going into this bout, you know? Jeff Horn can box. He does have some talent, he does have some skills. He's actually got a nice jab when he uses it. Don't forget, Jeff Horn was a good amateur. He actually represented Australia at the uh, 2012 Olympics in London, for example. The guy's no slouch, he's got some skills. But these days, he's a lot more reliant on his brute strength. But, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we see him go back to basics in this fight and box a little bit more. Also, I can half expect seeing Jeff Horn actually trying to counter as well in this fight. Again, in earlier Jeff Horn fights, he was actually not a great counter puncher by any means, but in certain fights, he was catching guys with an overhand right counter, for example. Look at the Ali Fineka fight, for example. Jeff Horn does have some tricks up his sleeve. He's not the bad fighter people paint him out to be. Is he an all-time great? Absolutely not. Is he truly elite? In my opinion, no. But the guy's a good fighter, you know, stemming from a good amateur background, and I believe he's got enough tools to win this fight. But, you know, it's a dangerous fight. Like I said, Zarafa's bigger, he's taller, he's rangier. Zarafa carries some type of power, and he's aggressive, he's hungry. It's a dangerous fight. And stylistically, it should be a, a really good one to watch. And if Jeff Horn uses the same style he fought Manny Pacquiao with, for example, then, you know, this could be a tough fight. I think he needs to use that style, but make adjustments, like I said. Box a bit more, counter a bit, mix things up, and um, he should win this fight. I'm picking Jeff Horn on points, and I'm fairly confident in that pick. Also, just to mention, like I said earlier, this fight is at middleweight. I've got no idea why Jeff Horn is at middleweight, if I'm being honest. I really don't see a future for him at 160. I believe he should move back down to at least 154. You know, I just don't believe he's got the attributes to challenge for top guys at 160. So after this fight, providing he wins, I believe he should move back down, well, move down to 154, and maybe target somebody like Jaime Munguia. I think Munguia is beatable. I think he's a vulnerable champion. Maybe that's the route Jeff Horn should go down. But this is just my opinion. I'm not his manager. I'm not his promoter. I'm just uh, I'm just really kind of uh, sharing my two cents. But uh, yeah, good fight. Looking forward to it. Good for the Australian boxing fans. Share your thoughts below. Anybody here giving Michael Zarafa a chance? Or like me, are you going with the favourite Jeff Horn? Share your thoughts below. I'm especially interested to hear the thoughts of the Australian boxing fans. So again, drop your comments below. Peace.